Welcome back. So I'm finally back with another video and today we'll be making fire resistant paper. To do so you're going to need the following materials. Some newspaper, about a half cup of baking soda, a small amount of vinegar, and some plaster of Paris. Now these ingredients are pretty straightforward and easy to get a hold to. Uh, also very cheap. And the first thing you want to do is shred this newspaper. Alright, now that the paper is shredded into these fine strips, uh, what you're going to want to do is add water to make this into a uh, fine mush. Um, use as little water as possible as that will save you time in the future. And if you have a blender to add the water and mix the paper together, go ahead and use that. But since I don't, I'm going to go ahead and do it by hand. And to save you the time of watching me do it by hand, I'm going to go ahead and skip until the end. Alright, so now that we have the paper finely ground and mixed with the water, we're going to want to add the baking soda next. I am not going to add all of it, but most of it because the batch is a little bit smaller than I anticipated. So you're just going to want to sprinkle it on like that. And then you want to mix that. But before I mix that, you're also going to want to add the plaster of Paris. So just sprinkle that onto just a little bit. And there we go. Uh, I'll mix that and I'll be back to show you the result. Now that that is done, the last thing you're going to want to add is the vinegar. Now I'll only add a little bit, not too much of it because the baking soda and vinegar are going to react to form bubbles and the purpose of this is to add a little bit more air into the mixture and a little bit more air adds insulation value um, to the final product so just a little bit not too much there we go and then you want to mix this a little bit more like so and then you want to get a pan set here metal because you're going to have to stick this in the oven or some warm place to let it dry a little bit quicker and you want to pour it in there. Like that kind of feels like a cooking channel. All right, um, get all the rest in here, and then you can either put this into a flat kind of a panel, so when it dries, it becomes like a plate, or you can leave it into a uh, loose mixture like this and kind of have it as a fill insulation. Uh, once this dries, I'm going to come back and show you the fire resistant properties of it. All right, I now have a piece that is finished early. You can see here, it's not too thick. It's about a quarter inch thick. And we will test it against this flame here, this little torch, and see how long it can hold up. All right. Here we go. I'll give you a little better view of it. You can see it is not burning, barely charring the surface of it. Let me turn the flame up a little bit more. There we go. Still no visible burning. So as you can see it has maybe barely charred the uh, front surface of it. So I'm going to try something a little bit hotter than this blowtorch. Alright so here we have oxyacetylene which is around 6,000 degrees if I'm correct, I am not completely sure, but we'll go ahead and give this a test. Sorry if the screen is a little blurry. Here we go. You can see that is very bright as it is a lot hotter. Can't look at it directly. You can see it's almost boiling red hot there. Yeah, it's still not catching on fire. It's being exposed directly to this oxyacetylene heat. You can see it's almost dripping. It's been dripped a few times already. As you can see, the other side is almost completely unaffected.
do a little bit longer this time. So there you have it. That is how you make um, fire resistant paper. All right, so I only thought it'd be fair to test some fiberglass insulation since most people have fiberglass in their houses or something similar to it. I decided to test this just as a comparison for the paper insulation. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this over the fire and let's see what happens. Wow, it melts almost instantly when it hits the flame. It's not catching on fire as you can see, but it is kind of melting and deteriorating to the heat, so it can't hold up to the heat very well. Wow, almost completely gone. Well, it'd only be fair to use the oxyacetylene torch on this since I used it on the paper, so let me go ahead and get that set up and I'll show you. All right, so here is the oxyacetylene torch and here is the fiberglass. Let's see what happens. Wow, it almost just instantly cuts through. Wow, that was quick. It's already completely gone. That's all that's left. All right, so there you have it. That is paper insulation versus fiberglass. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, give it a nice thumbs up, and have a good one.